continues. Our search for the treasure of Nimrod has also had a remarkable, if unintended, consequence. Behind these bars is nothing less than Iraq's Federal Reserve, millions of dollars and 40 plus billion Iraqi dinars. Now, thanks to our pumping operation, that money is flowing into the Iraqi economy. According to bank officials, it'll be enough to meet the nation's payroll for three whole months. We need this money to pay for the salaries. Even it was uh, have some water, but we use it because there is no other solution. The funding was a big issue because it meant that we couldn't access a lot of the dinars that were located in the flooded vaults. And so thanks to you guys, we've now been able to open up the vaults, clear out the water, and access the sacks. At last, we reached the final barrier. Behind this steel door is the vault where we hope the treasure of Nimrod is still stored. Did Saddam steal it? We'll know soon enough. Opening the safe is no easy matter, even if you have the combination and the keys. Access is tightly controlled. Only a single camera monitors the action. At last, the door opens. A quick scan of the room, and then we spot them, the museum cases. There's no obvious damage, and the lock looks intact. But do they still contain the treasure of Nimrod? Now politics intrude. The cases can't be opened until everyone, the bank, the museum, and the Pentagon, have signed off on the deal. Then, and only then, can we finally break the seals. I'm now joined in the studio by the man who got me into all of this, my producer Jason Williams, the obsessed Jason Williams. All right, when we were there, they would not open the boxes. So what happens next? We left essentially on the edge of our seats like everybody else. We did not know what was going to happen next. We had one last best chance. And uh, I went to one of the investigators and said, would you like to take a camera? They did. They took a camera with them into the vault, and uh, National Geographic now has those images. That's right, and uh, this is what they found. The scene our loaned-out camera captures is a world exclusive. The museum cases need a little persuading before their contents can be revealed. First, a woman's face. Next, gold bars and a gold helmet. And as excitement grows, the bull's head from the golden harp of Ur. And then, at last, for the first time since the beginning of the first Gulf War, we see it. The treasure of Nimrod. Beautiful. Two wars and countless other dangers haven't dimmed the luster of its gold. Bowl after exquisite bowl, necklaces, massive armlets, all gleam as if the master goldsmith had just created them. Finally, as if to cap the moment, the ornate crown of a queen of Assyria is revealed. The treasure will be displayed at the Iraq Museum, an emblem of the glory of ancient Iraq.